Hey everyone, Death Toaster here with the Super Turtle fact because Super Turtling is fun and I love it and I think everyone should know how to Super Turtle. So I'm making this little video going over some of the basics. Um, for this game I'm playing as the Brute Chieftain and oh, see some scouts there that I don't really want to mess with so get away from them. I'm using the Brute Chieftain and he is an absolute monster for super turtling. He's in my opinion the best one to have if you're gonna have a covey on your side. But go Temple second, get his inheritance upgrade as soon as you can and go straight towards a rebel base and start getting veterancy. See uh not sure which of my teammates is Cutter but they went elephant first to go quick expand scouts are still over there um... while you're killing the rebel base with your leader kill every individual turret that includes the watchtowers and all the rebels don't bring any warthogs ho or scouts or anything to help your leader kill any of the rebels or towers or he will get less veterancy and that's all that matters is getting him as many stars as quickly as possible because three star chieftain is quite a force to be reckoned with and that's the main goal that I like to go for for my super turtles but yeah the cubby player really doesn't have to focus on too much other than his leader and anti-air vampires so uh... just fast forward through the base killing as you can see I killed all the turrets and whatnot and that should get me my star yep that's the first one out of the way upgrade these warehouses don't try to go for any you know quick attacks or anything cause it's a super turtle it's not the point of the game here go over to this rebel base start whacking on it make your last building your summit so you can start making engineers engineers you want at least a few out right off the bat so you can start healing your chieftain because he will take damage from the rebel bases believe it or not and uh... queue up a second summit there i'm not sure why meant to be a shield you don't have to build shields while super turtling but it's always recommended to have one because you never want to get caught with a full army of air at your base with no shield not that it would help much but you know what I mean anyway first engineer is out I made a brute squad back at my base to send over to the wall here you gotta get the walls up as quick as possible so that way they can't you know attack you with ground forces too effectively they can still attack you with air but that's why my two UNSC buddies here are making anti-air right now. Not too much, just, you know, enough to defend us if we get attacked. And sure enough, there's the hornets. A lot of hornets, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and recall and start up a few vampires just in case they attack. Still getting supplies with my scout. Fast forward a little bit more, still just killing rebel bases. Got a brute squad up there that I'm hiking all the way to the other wall. Of course, he's probably not going to make it. <coughs> I saw all those hornets and I definitely made a ton of vampires quickly and didn't upgrade them. A lot of people say it's more useful to upgrade them first, but when they have a lot of air and you have you know no anti-air try to get as much out as quickly as you can and that's what I did there And they didn't attack anyway so it doesn't matter so shut up skip forward a bit more I've cleared all the rebel bases out so I'm gonna see if there's any left on their side and run into some tanks Gonna recall, but uh, forget it. Let's just see if there's anything at this base I can kill real quick, like a watchtower or something. But no, they already expoed on it, so I'm gonna get out of there. 
and uh, head on over to the wall where they are closest to. That's usually where I keep my chieftain at, is the right hand side wall. Upgrade some more warehouses. It's got some more engineers building. I don't think I'm fully upgraded at this point, but, you know, I'm getting there. It's not too far ahead into the game yet. Skip forward a little more. And at this point, I noticed that they hadn't made any cobras yet. And cobras are very necessary for super turtling, and I yelled at them a little bit, but they had them coming. We were just all so worried about those hornets that we forgot, I guess. <laughs> but you definitely need cobras. Put them all around that line and you'll see them when they're in position. I guess we have power turret Spartan tank army, so we're not completely undefended. And watch that. That warthog gets birthrighted over, then doesn't get stunned and just gets to drive on through. That, that kind of made me facepalm a bit, but whatever. Let them scout us. <laughs> I think that elephant took him out anyway. <laughs> There's Mitch telling me how bad I am. Whatever. Finally, he's got some cobras coming up here, and oh, there's the banshees. Too little, too late, kiddo, and that's a good reason to put up a shield, although I really don't think those banshees do too much at all, because I had such a nice little clump of vampires just sitting there, ready to defend my base. And all those banshees just pop, basically. <laughs> That's another reason I love super turtling. I love seeing huge armies get decimated quick, swiftly with quick justice brought down upon them. I have 12 vampires. That's really all you need. You shouldn't make any more than that. The rest of your population should be engineers. If you're the chieftain. Finally getting my last tech age here, so I can get the chieftain fully upgraded. He unfortunately did not get three starred from the rebel bases. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. I don't know how it works, but Oh boy, hawks. <laughs> no problem there. But yeah, if anyone knows how the veterancy works, if there's like any set number to veterancy points certain units give off, I sure don't know. So if any of you know, please tell me. I would love to know. So anyway, that's going to do it for the first video. Basically just showing you the setup as the Covey player. Usually, I am the chieftain. I really do think he's the best way to go if you're going to do this. Because, you know, there's too many easy ways to deal with other leaders other than the chieftain. But, yeah, that'll do it for the first video. Next one's going to be all of the epic battles that can arise from super turtling. So, be sure to check it out, and thanks for watching. Bye bye!